Hatton came through for us in a big way at the WGC Mexico. Despite a long layoff and a surgery, he's shaping up as another high quality option again here because the big appeal for me with Hatton is that he's well rounded. He is 10th in good drive rate, he is 40th in approach. Ninth around the green over the past 50 rounds, and that's in addition to being a solid Bermuda putter. We don't often get guys who will check all four boxes, but Hatton does. And he has a win in three top fives in his past five events. He showed that that rust was not an issue at the WGC Mexico, where he gained 10.6 strokes tee to green. Had like a top five or six finish there, despite gaining, I think, like 0.4 strokes putting. So he's awesome. I do like Matthew Fitzpatrick in this range. I do like On, I like Leishman, but I think Hatton, the savings here are good. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, forego those guys. But if I need to bump down to Hatton or to fit in someone else, I am okay with that because I think that Hatton is is really good. Uh, any thoughts for you on Tyrrell Hatton? I, I mean, I like him a lot. Uh, I'm going to use him. And the, the TD Green play has been very good. Uh, so he's not just a putter. I, I I don't know if it's just us or just me that kind of has that. Like, I think of Hatton, I think, first of putting, but uh, his TD Green play has been really good. I guess I don't think of him that way because, like, we've been on him and we're not really on putter-only guys. Yeah. Like, this is not a Denny McCarthy uh, no. podcast, um, but I think he's well-rounded, and I like that a lot.